Hey, what's happening guys? Finally, I have in all the buck converters. Yes, I know the LM7317 is not really a buck converter. It's a linear voltage regulator, but it is sold as a buck converter on eBay. So that's why I'm including it in this group. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you're not experienced and you, somebody tells you, you need a buck converter, you might buy that. So that's what we got going on there. We're going to have our shootout today. We are going to test, uh, power in versus power out and find out their efficiency we are going to do that on this here learn electronics approved chart we will test each converter at 9 volt 7 volt 5 volt and 3.3 volts figure out their efficiency average them out and heretofore declare a winner now on to the players in today's game we have power supply and let's zoom in on power supply it is out going to output when I turn it on 12 volts 3 amps that's the full Monty we're giving it everything we got we will then let the converters convert and then we will use these two meters here to figure out the power out we can figure out the power in right here the purple numbers will be the wattage that's what we're gonna do if you disagree with this, if you don't like this, here's what we can do. You're going to send a self-abused stomped antelope to the address down below. And I'll send you the boards and you can do your own tests. Okay? Fair? All right. Let's set everything up. Okay, here's our test setup. We're starting out with the uh, 2596 converter that does not have the uh, digital display. Power in goes to the inside. Power out goes to this probe, which goes through the O1 meter, which is set for amps, and then out to this load, which is set for one amp. Connected in parallel to the output is the other meter which we will set for volts. Once we have I and E, we can calculate W or P as the case may be. So everything is hooked up and ready to go. So I will turn on the power and we have 12 volts at 0.99 amp giving us an input power of 11.85 watts which I will record here 11.85 then we have our output here at 0.99 amp at 9.05 eh, we'll just call it 9.91 watts 8 0.91 now I will do this for the rest of the voltage range you don't have to watch that I have completed my tests with the uh, 2596 without the digital display and here are the results at 9 volts we get an efficiency of 75% at 7 volts uh, 73 at 5 volts 74 and at 3.3 volts 62 giving us an average of 71% efficiency not anything to write home about now we'll go on to the 2596 that has the display it looks a little different than the others but uh it's the same circuitry it just has a display i'm wondering if the display will make any difference we're going to test it and find out now it's the 2596 buck converter which as you can see is pretty much identical to the other one except it just has this here and we're going to test it out in the exact same way start out at 9 volts we'll power it up and we roll up here 12.16 watts in and then we'll come and check our output 8.91 and 0.97 
And what do we get? 12.16 watts in, 8.73 watts out for 9 volt. Now I will do it for 7, 5, and 3.3. Okay, I've completed the math for the 2596 converter with the display. You can see how it stacks up here, but overall the average is point or 68%, which is kind of what I expected. The power from that LED, those LED segments, has to go somewhere. Next up, the 6006, which is a boost buck converter. So it's not really the same as the other two, but we'll see how she does anyway. Got the uh, 6006 hooked up the same as everything else, starting out at 9 volts. Although, I'm not sure why this is showing me 3 volts. Look, if I take the load off of it, we get our 9 volts. Okay. If I put the load back on it, okay. Just some weirdness, I guess. So, 12.6 in and 8.82 out. Now I will uh, do it for the other ones. Spot check here in case I get accused of cheating again. Here we are doing the 7 volt test. 9.34 in and 0.75 out. I will now complete the rest of the test for this one. Here is the math on the 6006. At 9 volts, 70%. At 7 volts, 72%. At 5 volts, actually 86%. And at 3.3 volts, 83%, giving us an overall total of 78% efficient. Well, it's winning the game so far. Alrighty, the final player in our game is the LM317 buck converter. It's a linear voltage regulator. So it is going to exhibit some serious inefficiencies because everything it does uh, is based on temperature, really. So I'll get it hooked up and we'll find out what she has to say for herself. Hooked up. It's set for 9 volts. Power it up. And we see 12.06 in and 8.51 watts out. And we'll drive her on down to 7 volts here. Maybe. Hmm. Getting all these Chinese buck converters have a counterclockwise to go up. There we go. 7 volts. And 12 watts in. That's interesting. And our out is uh, 6.93. And we'll take her down to 5. There we go. Oh, a little too far. These ten turn pots are not the uh, not the greatest. Yeah, I do want to get it as close to five as I can. That should do it. Okay, eleven point eight nine in and are out. Even mention what our out was. Our out is um, 4.9 watts. And finally, we'll take it down to 3.3. .3. 
And let me tell you what, I can smell how hot it's getting. So 8.94 in and are out. I'm going to shut that off for a second. I'm going to figure out all the math and we'll have ourselves a winner. All right, I've done all the math. Before we go over the results, uh, Learn Electronics disclaimer, this is not a complete characterization of any of these buck converters. This is just a simple test to show the average guy which one is more efficient. So the 2596 converter without the display is 71% efficient. The one with the display is 68% efficient. It's a 3% difference, and I believe we can attribute that to the LED, dis or L L LED display, seven-segment display. Next is the 6006 at 78%, and that is going to be our winner. And bringing up the bottom is the LM317, which is actually not a buck converter, but a linear voltage regulator. And the only device with a heat sink because it is taking all the extra voltage and just turning it into heat. Only 59% effective. Now, the best part is all of these devices were under $2. And the 6006 buck boost converter, I think it was like a buck 28. That's a good deal. That's pretty efficient. I mean, it's not greatly efficient. A synchronous buck converter would be way more efficient. But we're just talking about the cheapest of the cheap. Though we'll call them one buck buck converters. The 6006. X -based, the chip based on the XL6006 is our winner. 78% efficient. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.